Previously on The Bill. I don't want my son coming round here neglecting his work. Sounds to me like he doesn't appreciate you. Keep your appreciation to yourself. Will you marry me? I don't know if I can. Relax, Brandon. If Devon thinks we're tailing him, he'll lead us away from Prince, not to him. You know, I remember my first tail job. I was so nervous about losing the geezer, I nearly rear-ended him at a red light. <laughs> DCI is already having puppies about you two letting Prince jump court yesterday from under your noses. Come on, Sarge. We didn't exactly just kind of... Look, we lucked out finding one of his gang. And Devon Thomas is our only shot at finding Prince. We let this guy... Yo, what's his problem? Right, go now, go on. He's dead! I need an ambulance, I've got two nails done with gunshot wounds. Yes, in a hurry. Uh, just going to call Lane. No, you're not. I want you to help Jim. He needs someone to trace witnesses. Well, can't someone else do it? Why, Jess? Not expecting special treatment, are you? Why? Is that what I'm getting? When I decide to give you special treatment, PC Taverner, believe me, you'll know about it. So what's it all about? Just before 11, a young woman was walking home through Sacriston Park. A man approached her from behind. He ripped open her blouse and tried to grab her. She shook him off. Then there was a short chase. She ran into a shop and he vanished into Sacriston Park. Any description? Quite vague. Uh, white, about six foot, short dark hair. But there was a CCTV camera in a shop nearby covering the road. This is the tape. Maybe someone saw something driving past. You don't expect me to stroll through all of that, do you? Yes, PC Tavener. I do. Bad enough that PC best helped Prince to escape from the court. What's worse is he did it by starting his getaway car. You know what really makes me angry, Jack? It's finding out about it from the newspapers. How did they get hold of this? I've no idea, sir. But police stations do tend to be leaky vessels. Gary's been reprimanded. Oh, well, that's all right, then. No doubt when Prince hears that, he'll turn himself in. Well, I am throwing everything I've got at this, sir. Yeah? Is that why the only lead we've got has just been shot? Well, Jack, there's a chain of command in these things. This one ends with you. Danny, Go. you know Nathan, so I want you on the Prince case. Jim can look after the CSU. Thanks, Jim. Well done, lads. We now know something about Prince we didn't know before. Whatever he is, he's hungry, because this was going to be his lunch. Devon here was taking it to him, and you lot were following. Pretty straightforward, really. But now all we've got is a dead body and a bag full of cold hamburgers. You've only been back half a day, and already this is a mess. It was a dangerous situation, Gov. I don't care if it's World War Three. All the answers we wanted were in here. Where's Prince? Who else is following him? How come a gang war's broken out on our turf that nobody knows about? Isn't this one for MIT now, Cuff? Well, this lad is. But the man on for Prince was lying before this lot kicked off. So don't expect MIT to come strolling in here to sort this mess out for you. What about the man who was shot? His name is Wade Sellers, known as Tiny. He's just come out of the operating theatre and Mickey's with him. Well, as soon as he starts talking, I want to know everything he says. The car that this tiny was driving, what about it? Stolen this morning. You amaze me. Find it. Danny, I want you to have a word with that young friend of yours, Nathan. As his prince's brother, it can't be coincidental that he was kebabbed yesterday. Nathan's pretty badly injured, Gov, and he didn't know much yesterday. Oh, jeez, he's had a day to recover. I want you to push him for as much as he knows. Should I tell him about this? No, no, that'll scare him off. If he does talk, he could blow this open for us. And if anybody can get through to Nathan, you can. But be careful. Gov. Right, something nasty is going to kick off on our turf. We can't afford any more screw-ups. This is a mess. And you lot are the cleaners. Charming. Isn't there a T in bitch? I don't know what's worse is what she says or how she spells it. She? Mel Grant. 
I mean, it's obvious it's her. She talks in there about me telling her to stop seeing my son, Ben. Would well, you reckon it's her that dissed you, Dawn? She was absolutely furious when I went round there yesterday. There's been phone calls through the night, just silence, but it's a pain. You tried one for someone? Number withheld. Look, I wasn't going to report it, but then this happened and it's just getting out of hand. Did the neighbours say anything? Nah. Must be the first thing she's missed in this street since the war. Look, I can get Jim to deal with this if you'd rather. No, no, you're all right. It's not worth bothering him about. Oh, I'm sure he'd much rather not. I could give him a call. No, you're all right, Tony. I'd really rather you didn't. Uh, we're, um... We're not seeing each other anymore. Oh. I'm, so, I'm sorry, I... No, it's fine. I'm fine about it, really. Anyway... I'm sure he's got far more important things to worry about than me and my childish feud with Mel Grant. Right, look, we'll, uh, we'll go and have a word with her. Thanks. See I told you already, I don't remember what they look like. Come on, Nathan, it's important. Sorry. Not even the colour? No. That's enough now, officer. He needs to rest. OK, OK. Why were they after your brother? I don't know. Come on, Nathan, just tell me. Please. Didn't you hear? I need to rest. I never wrote that. How dare she? You sure? I'd know, wouldn't I? How do you spell bitch, Mel? What's this? 20 questions? Yeah, bitch. Spell it. B I C H, there, right? Yeah, bang on. Come on. What? Get your coat. We're going for a drive. Yeah, but I never wrote it. Tom, Come on, let's go. What? A word. What's up? You sure this is helping? Helping Marie, yeah. Well, unless you think Mel didn't write that. Well, of course she wrote it. I just don't know if arresting is going to do much good. <laughs> what are you going on about? Well, she's only a kid. Oh, bless. Get real, Gary. She's a waste of space. She'll be out there making somebody else's life a misery tomorrow, blaming everybody else for it. Police, school, parents, everyone but her own useless self. You always used to say to me that a kind word goes a lot further than a stern one. Remember Lee Dwyer? Oh, that's a great example, Gary. Look where that landed me, getting accused of being a paedophile. So can I talk to her? <sighs> Do what you like. What? Look, Mel. This is ridiculous. It's got to end sooner or later. So let's make it now, yeah? If we drop this, you've got to promise that you leave Marie alone. OK, sure. There, all sorted. And make sure you do, right? I promise. You pull one more stunt, you nicked. All right, what was all that about in the corridor? I don't know. You knew him, didn't you? Wade Sellers. Tiny, they call him. I've got nothing to say to you. Was Tiny one of the people who attacked you? Why is he here? Look, Nathan. No one's pretending you're in a good situation, but you're safer here than you are anywhere. And the more you tell me, the better I can ensure your safety, yeah? Was that man one of the people who attacked you? Why, Nathan? He wasn't the main man. Who was? Clark. Jackson Clark? Yeah. Jackson Clark's a big man around here. Why is he looking for Prince? I don't know. Come on, Nathan, tell me this is important. And I'm not. Of course you are. Then why is Tiny here? Nathan, I... Something's happened, hasn't it? Hasn't it? I don't think you want to know. No. Of course you don't. Because you always know what's best for me, yeah? Nathan, I want to help you. That's why I'm here. And then tell me your goal. OK. Look. That guy was wounded in a gun battle this morning. He... He shot your brother's friend at Devon. Devon? Is he dead? Yeah, he is. Get out. Nathan. Get out. 
Look, I'll get Tiny transferred to another hospital. You don't need- Get out! What's going on? I was just going. And don't come back. Ever! Who's a popular boy today, then? Who's done that? Ah, oh, lads. What happened with Marie Graham? Uh, do you want to take uh, Sergeant explain? Tony, I heard you got a call to Marie's. Is she all right? Yeah, no, she's fine. Got a bit of hassle. She's OK. How are you? I'm fine. Uh, why? She told me to. I see. Well, I shouldn't worry. Jim, come on, what happened? No, oh, not a lot. She asked me to marry her. I said no. Would you care to elaborate? Well, she wanted all or nothing, so it has to be nothing. Why? It's complicated, Tony. And it's private. I'm sorry. Sure. All right, I better get around there. No, no, no. Look, she's fine, honestly. She doesn't want to see me. Sorry, Jim. It's all right. Thanks. Is he all right? Heavy heart, but it'll heal. Who is she? None of your business. Oh, come on, Tony. He seems so sad. He's got no reason to be. Wish I had two beautiful women throwing themselves at me. Two? Well, there's Marie Graham, for starters. Oh, yeah? What's she like? She seems very nice. And the other one? Ever heard of June Auckland? Oh, yeah. I thought that was all over. Yes, yeah, so did I. If you've nothing better to do, PC Harmon, Des needs a hand log and car registrations in BIU. Sarge? Got a sandwich? Yeah, good idea. Buy me a coffee as well. Tony, when's Jim's birthday? The beginning of February, I think. Why? Aquarius. All units on Sierra Oscar. Report of a disturbance at 36 Hacker Avenue. Anyone deal? Surprise, surprise, Marie's again. 595 Shas dealing. So much for promises, eh? PC worst. Okay, can you gather round? No. Mickey, Danny. Right, this is Jackson Clark. We've been trying to nail him for years. He's taken over most of the drugs action on the Ancombe and Copthorne estates. He's got some pretty ruthless people working for him, your mate Tiny included. But he's smart. He always manages to avoid danger, uses his club as a front. So if he's getting his hands dirty with Nathan, chances are this is big business. So are you sure about this, Danny? 100% God. There's no way Nathan faked that reaction. You name Clark. No one does that unless they're very scared. Well, they're stupid. Well, Clark is desperate to get to Prince, and we need to know why. You know what they say, Gov? If you want to know why, ask a copper. Now, that's the gun Devon used this morning. A CZ-75D. Semi-automatic, very small and light. Made in the Czech Republic and popular with your more discerning criminal. MIT are handling this. What's this got to do with Jackson Clark? Well, three cases of these went missing earlier this year. A 75 guns. Now, Interpol tracked them as far as France, but then they disappeared off the radar. They reckoned that they were heading for this side of the channel. The Devon's gonna have a serial number. Yeah, it had been filed off. But forensics will give us that in a couple of days. Well, that's too late, isn't it? Because if Prince's crew have got them, then that's why Clark's after him. You just haven't got enough time. But that's good work, Phil. See if you can get some more information about these guns. Go. Mickey, you come with me. I think it's time I had a little chat with Mr. Clark. Go. Let's keep this by the book, Jack. Uh, I've already cleared it with MIT, sir. This is strictly off the record. I want Jackson to know that I'm breathing down his neck. Gov, you want me on this? Uh, no, thanks. Sorry, Gov. Have you arranged for Tiny to be moved from St. Hughes? Leave it with me and I'll see what can be done. Now would be a good idea. I think that's for me to decide, don't you? If I need you, I'll let you know. In the meantime, get back to CSU. You're not going to phone them first, Sarge? Who? Your informants. Why would I want to phone them when I can go straight to Tiny? Well, Tiny's just come out of surgery. We can't interview him. We're not going to interview him, Brandon. We're going to take him a bunch of flowers. Second one is F323NYX, and that's a Volvo estate. And the last one is G704UTA, and that's a Ford Escort. Gemini. Perfect. You are? Marie Graham, Jim's girlfriend. She's a Gemini. Kind, funny, sensitive, ideal love match, Aquarius. You see, it's written in the stars. The stars? Jim Carver. Are you kidding? Trust me, Des. 
Uh, honey, can I pull you off that for a while? Sure. We've had a bag snatch report from Miss Layla Fitzgerald. Uh, CSU have dealt with her recently, so Jim's going along with you. Oh. She had a violent father. We never could get her to press charges against him, but she's finally flown the nest and got a place of her own. Thankfully. Well, wouldn't it be nice to work together for once? Uh, yeah. Neighbour called it in, I'll have a word. Yeah, why don't you? Did you keep my son Oi. out of this? I don't believe Is this about ben? you called them again. I did not call them. <laughs> Enough. Get off me. Let go. You happy now? Don't tell me. I Pull didn't in know going to be like that, did I? Are you all right? Yeah, I'll be fine. You sure? I've had better days, you know what I mean? Put your belt on. I'd been out with my friends from work. I was waiting by the bus stop on Gateside Drive, about half past ten. And someone, this man, he, he just grabbed my bag. Did you see anything at all? No. He was older than me, I think. I mean, I didn't really see. Did he say anything? Shout. No. I can't remember. It was very fast. Can you tell us what the bag looked like? It was red with a white strap. And he took it? Yeah. Did he do anything else? No. The bus came. He... No, that, that, that was all. OK. So, what was in the bag? Nothing. So it doesn't really matter. Well, nothing at all? No purse, no money? No, it was just the bag and... I didn't like it anyway, so it doesn't really matter, does it? <coughs> Is there any chance of a glass of water? Yeah, yeah, in the kitchen. I'll get it. Is there anything else you want to tell me, Layla? Like? Well, your bag's just by the couch, isn't it? Did he do anything else to you, Layla? Yeah. Here's your roster. Thanks. It's a fit-up, Sergeant. <laughs> what are you doing here? <laughs> oh, you forgot your sandwiches. Funny. Come on. Yeah, I got a call. Might be a witness saw you in the park last night. I got my cap number off some tape. Did you see anything? I think I might have done, yeah. Hey, witness for the prosecution, eh? Yeah, well, don't go leaving the country. I gotta give a statement to PC uh, Des Tavener. Oh, really? Who was the man so he doesn't bite, does he? Uh, I very much hope not. <laughs> he grabbed me from behind and he pulled me into the bushes. I tried to scream, but he covered my mouth. He... He put his hand. He touched me. Here. Yeah. Then the bus came, scared him, and he, he ran off. Did he hurt you? Yeah. I mean, what he did. It's all right. You don't have to say now. You can wait till we get to the station to make a written statement. Statement? We're going to need a written statement. It's all right. I can help you prepare. Oh, no, I can't. No, everyone will know. No, I can't. Layla, I please. Can't. Without it, we can't take any action against this man. Everything OK in here? Please, call me. a drink. No thanks, I'm here on business. Oh? Nothing serious, I hope. Not unless you're a friend of Wade Sellers. <laughs> Tiny? It's just like a brother to me. 
And you know that he was shot this morning and badly injured. Was he? How careless. Call the florist, sweetheart. Yes. Can't it wait? I've got someone waiting for me. Well, no, actually. Oh, Sergeant Murphy, I need a word about those overtime budgets. Of course, sir. Thank you, gentlemen, for passing by to tell me about Tiny. Just a minute. What do you know about an attack on a young lad called Nathan Morley yesterday? Nathan Morley? Can't say I've ever heard of him. So where were you yesterday morning? At home. Any witnesses? Oh, yeah. Natalie here and her special friends. Should I be calling my lawyer then, Jack? Not yet, no. No. That's because you've got nothing on me, have you? Here. Tickets. My club, Friday. My complex. I'll be back. Gateside Drive's just a stone's throw from Sacriston Park. That's where the other assault happened last night. It's too soon to say if it's a serial attacker, but they could be linked. Hardly matters. She'll never give me that statement now. That was good work back there. You're pretty sharp, aren't you? Well, I knew something wasn't right. I knew she wasn't happy. How come? People are my hobby. I can tell things about them. From what? Well, you know, star signs, auras. Ah, bumbo jumbo. It's not. Come on, then. What star sign am I? I'd say you were Aquarius. Not bad. And you're giving off a very negative aura. Oh, am I? No, seriously, something's wrong. I can tell. It's a woman, isn't it? No, hang on. Two women. How do you know that? I'm right then. Lucky guess. So you've never heard of Nathan Morley? No. So what was all this about? It's a black thing. Oh, cute. All right, what about this morning, all that shooting? Was that a black thing as well? I've got nothing to say to you. I'm full of painkillers. I'm not a reliable witness. <clears throat> Sarge, maybe we should... Yeah, it. all right, Brandon. See that? No, you probably can't, but there's a few hairs in there. And they're yours, Tiny. Oh, yeah. And it's amazing what your DNA can say about you. Especially when it was found in Nathan Morley's flat. And we both know what happened there yesterday, don't we? That was a very vicious assault, Tiny. And yours was the only air they found. Which puts you in the frame for the whole gig. I only... Only... Come on, I can't hear you. What do you want? I can help you out here. See these evidence bags? They're very cheap. You know what they're meant like. They try anything to save a few quid. Now, one spark from this, whole thing goes up forever. Now, my governor would go spare. Only lucky for us he doesn't know anything yet about your short and curlies. Talk. Three cases of CZ-75D handguns. I know all about them, but I'd love to know more. Sarge. No? Huh? All right, then, you've had your chance. Wait! <clears throat> Prince has got them. What, the guns? Yeah. Jackson gave him half the money so he could get them into the country. Then Prince got sent down. But now he's out and Jackson wants what's his. So why not hand over the guns? You think if I knew that, I'd be lying here? <clears throat> Thank you, Tiny. You've been very cooperative. Yo, you said you was... Yeah, I will. I will, Tiny. As soon as you put that into a proper statement. Now, you get well soon, eh? <clears throat> You, you're all the same. Right. It's because we're black, isn't it? Yeah. <clears throat> I'll see you later, Tiny. You take it easy, mate. Come on. Sarge, where are the hairs from then? Off the carpet in my car. So what use is Tiny's evidence? Why don't we just let the DCI decide that? All right. You're going to tell him what you just did, are you? And not in so many words. I'm going to say... Sorry, we're going to say that Tiny, bless his heart, is racked with guilt. And having had a brush with death, felt the need to unburden his soul. <laughs> oh, he'll believe that. Why don't you ask yourself, Brandon, was he telling the truth? We don't know. That's the point. I'll tell you. He was. I knew it, and he knew I knew it. Come on, Brandon, use the force. What? 
Look on me as your Jedi Master. I'm your senior officer, which means you back me up at all times, okay? Don't forget it. Sit there. Kind word. Nice one. Yeah, well, I still reckon I was right. What? You couldn't have got it more wrong. You believed her stupid promise and bingo, she's out there smashing up the street. And what's in it for her? Hey? I'll tell you why people do things like that. Frustration. No one will listen to them, so they do something that can't be ignored. And you'd know about that, would you? Yeah, actually. I used to do it myself back in the day. She's not a criminal, Tony. She's just a kid with problems. And I reckon things are seriously wrong at home. We'll see. Right, Mill. We need to talk to your mum and dad. Where can I find them? Don't ask me. Well, you must know where they are. I'm having a clue. Dad's at work. Right. What does he do? Works in an office. Which office? You don't know? No. All right, well, what about your mum? Lives in Dorset or somewhere. What time does your dad get home from work? When the pub's shut. Well, give yourself a pat on the back. You should get that insured. What do you mean? Copper's nose. Worth a fortune. So, when's she back? Who? June, of course. Oh, you're like a dog with a bone, you are. Thanks, but that's not an answer. All right, then. Her flight gets in tonight. She arrives at Heathrow at quarter past five. Are you satisfied? But you're not really bothered about her. No. Really? No. It's over. But you know when her flight gets in. Well, I just happen to remember. You love her, don't you? Well, yeah. I suppose I probably do. And Marie? Yes. I love Marie, but that's different. Different? Yeah, different. It's um, simpler. It's more direct. Better? Yeah, better. You're not going to marry June. If you were going to, you would have done it a long time ago. I'm going to leave you a note. Saying? It's about Marie. Uh, she's had a bit of a rough day. Look, I know what I said earlier, but I think that maybe it'd be a good idea if you went around and see her. Right, thanks. Well, what are you waiting for? Go on. I picked this man up right by that shop on Shipway Lane. You know, he seemed a little flustered. Did you get a good look at him? Well, let's see. He was about six foot, I guess. Maybe around 40. He had darkish hair. Kind of ordinary looking, yeah. What was he wearing? Uh, a coat. Quite long it was. And blue. It was definitely blue. Blue. Good. And where did you take him to? Oh, well, this is the thing. He wouldn't say the street name. Just left here, right here, you know. I mean, he knew where he was going. And I kept asking him what street he wanted, because I might know a shortcut. So? I dropped him off on Rudkin Road, corner of Magpie Street. You know where the one-way system is? He said he would walk the rest. Right. OK, Patrick. Thanks a lot for your help. If you'd just like to read and sign. Uh, I'm sure it reads all right. Right, we'll show you out. Actually, you could do me a favour and show me where Sergeant Murphy's office is. Sergeant Murphy, what do you want to see here for? Well, you know, I was hoping for a little kiss. Give what? A kiss. I'm her husband. Oh, of course, Murphy. Right. 
Okay, if you want to come this way. I had you there for a minute, didn't I? Yeah, you did, didn't you? Yeah. Now, oh, don't worry. It's good to see a decent fella like you stand up for. Yeah, right, say, if you want to come this way. So why did Tony tell you all this? It was a change of heart, Gav. Obviously feeling guilty. Yeah, it was very touching. Touching? Yeah. Wasn't it, Brandon? It doesn't matter why. What matters is, will he definitely give us a statement as soon as he's drug free? Yeah, definitely, sir. But that could take days, sir. Weeks, even. But if Clark gets all of these weapons, he'll be better armed than the entire Met. We won't stand a chance. OK. Let's neutralise him. Get corroboration of this from Nathan. As soon as you do, pull Clark and get onto SN19. You'll need arm backup. DCI Meadows. Oh, you're kidding. Yeah. Yeah, OK. Nathan has dismissed his armed guard. He's discharging himself. It's good to see you. You too. Don't. You said no, remember? To marriage? To me. That's the way it is, is it? Yeah, it is, actually. You know why, Marie? Yeah, 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 yeah. You're an alcoholic. You're all so paunchy. You leave the toilet seat up and you snore like a Harley Davidson. I'll take the whole package. So how are you going to cope with me if... No. No. When I fall off the wagon? I'm not. That is your problem, Jim, for you to deal with. <laughs> I'd have to be pretty naive to think I could sort that one out for you. Yeah, of course. Look. Obviously, I would try and support you in every way that I could, but it's your reality, Jim. It's not mine. Losing Sonia is my reality. And I know that... I know you can't carry that burden for me, but, you know, just having you there, it just kind of makes it just that little bit easier for me to deal with. Sounds like my job. Yeah. Listen to me telling an FLO about giving support. How's your granny at sucking eggs? Terrible. Jim Carver. OK, I'll, I'll, I'll be right back. Duty calls? Yeah, right. phone later. Actually, Jim, you know, don't bother. You're either in my life or you're out of it. The whole operation hinges on Nathan. How are we supposed to protect him if he dismisses his armed guard? He's terrified, Doc. What would you do if they put you in a room next to someone who tried to kill you? I need to get down there and try and talk him out of it. And find out what he knows about those guns. I'll have to bring something to the party, Gov. Like what? Full witness protection for Nathan. New identity to works. Oh, no, come on, Danny, you know... OK, we... Gov, you talk to him. Well, don't mess with me. There's a lot riding on this. Yeah, like a young boy's life. All right, I'll see what I can sort. Gov. Why are you doing this, Nathan? He's still there, isn't he? Tiny. We're getting him moved. <sighs> no, it's too late. You might as well put a sign on my door. Nathan's here. You had an armed guard, Nathan. <laughs> yeah? So he waits till I'm discharged. <laughs> No way. Where are you going to go? I've got places. Like? I've got places. They'll find you. Then stop them. We can't do that without you, Nathan. If you help us to send Clark down, we'll make sure he can never find you. How? Witness protection. New identity, new start. What would you get out of it? <laughs> You're too young to be this cynical. Oh, so nothing then? Information. What was Prince selling to Clark? I don't know. Then how come they're trying to kill you? New identity, yeah? Yeah. In a new town, everything. We'll take care of you. You got my word on that. Your word? As a copper? As a friend. And as a brother. <laughs> Some brother. Listen. I'm the best one you've got right now. Guns. Lots of guns. 
Where are they? I swear. I've got no idea. I'll go and get your guard back. Yes. Sarge. He met my husband. I met your husband. Right. He said. Yeah. Nice fella. Spoke very highly, that nice officer. Couldn't think of who he meant. Said some nice things about you. Oh. No intimate secrets, I hope. Not enough. Sarge, you heard about Layla Fitzgerald, have you? Uh, yeah, it's a shame she won't give a statement. Uh, worth trying again, do you think? Oh, I doubt it. She's shy and protective, tough not to crack. Anyway, she's Honey's case, really, Sarge. OK, thanks anyway, Jim. So? Oh, not again. Oh, serious or improvement, you're glowing. Am I? Definitely. You spoke to her then? Yes. And no. So you didn't ask her? I don't know, honey. Look, I can't find one single thing wrong about Murray. And that's what worries you? Oh, yeah. You're unbelievable. An hour ago, you'd all but talked yourself into it. When Tony said she wanted to see you, you're like a dog let off his lead. Now you just told me she's perfect. But according to Jim Carver, that's the ultimate reason not to marry someone. I give up, Jim. Turn down a lifetime's happiness with a woman you love if you want. Just don't say that I didn't warn you. Oh, you stupid! Nathan? Right, that's all 19 here, yeah? Any minute. Do we know if Jackson's in there? Yeah, well, it sounds like they're having a bit of a party in there. That's him. Danny, what did Nathan say? Never mind that. Nathan's been kidnapped. You what? They're heading up Gosport Lane towards the old industrial park. I'm following. I don't believe it. Stay with him, but leave your line open. I'll get an ARV over. Go. Uh, Danny. I need to know what Nathan said. We're outside Clark's flat now. It's guns, Gov. Three cases of Czech handguns. Prince selling, Clark buying. And no, he doesn't know where they are. Right. Target premises. It's a club just down there on the left. Danny, where are you? The old mill off Gosport Lane. They're taking it inside. I'm going in. No way. No, you monitor the situation from the outside. I'm going in, Gov. I'll keep the line open. You hear me, Danny? You stay outside. Right, you know what you're doing. Danny, you alright, Gov? I hope so. Danny, what's going on? Danny, can you hear me? If you're in danger, tap the mic. Vicky, you and Brandon get over there. It's a disused mill just off Gosport Lane. ARV are already on their way over. Now, you're running this, Mickey, to keep it safe. Go. Danny, Mickey and Brandon are moving towards you now. now. Don't make a move until armed response get there. Do you hear me? No heroics. Right, let's sort Clark out. Got to look 
handcuffed to the priest. He killed Devin. Devin's dead. You see what happens? You see what happens when you're messing people's business? So I swear to God. Back off, please. <laughs> I'm waiting. I found him in the flat. I was scared. You should have been. A panic, Prince. I thought you was away for years. Just tell me what you did. I threw them in the river. Don't treat me stupid, Nathan. <laughs> the truth. I, I found them in the flat. I just took them and threw them in the river. Don't listen to me. Hey! Now where am I going? Where are they, Nathan? So is this then, Jackson, one of my special friends? I bought you some free tickets to my club, Jackson. You'll like it. Stairs are open very late. Danny, just arrested Jackson Clark. I repeat. Just arrested Jackson Clark. Clark wants those weapons. You hear? He paid for them, and now he wants them. And he thinks I've got them, and they kill me. And me, I'm going to shoot you like I shot my Clark. You see, you yeah, see my problem? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, Listen, where's my guns? I do them in the rivers, the truth, man! Don't push me! There's something to do with you. You've been talking to the police. Prince, listen to me, please. Jackson Clark has been arrested. He's off your back, out of the picture. He's going to go down for years. You're a liar. It's the truth, Prince. Listen, just let Nathan go. <laughs> he just knows everything about this. He didn't throw me to the river. He jumped to the police, didn't you? Didn't you? Danny, are you all right? Nathan. Nathan, can you hear me? Get away from him! He's in the back way. We've got to call an ambulance. What are you doing? Finishing what I started. Listen, no. Wait, wait. This backup's coming. There's going to be our police all over this place at any minute. If you go now, you can get away! You're a lying copper. Wait, wait. Nathan's still alive. It's not murder. I'll say it was an accident. You, you fought. The gun went off. They'll believe me. They'll hear what I said. Let me speak to him, please. What are you gonna say? I'll, I'll, I'll call him off. I'll, I'll tell him there's no one here. You think I'm stupid? Forget it. Okay, so what are you gonna do? Prince, hey? You're gonna kill me? Spend the rest of your life in prison for murder? Look, I'm giving you the chance to be free now. Take it! <coughs> it's okay, Nathan. It's all right. It's all right. Just keep your eyes open, my brother. My little brother. Nathan, my big brother. What have I done? Can you hear me? Ambulance, now. Hey, the ambulance at the old just got Gosport line, but I'm sorry. Was clear. I had to follow you. Ambulance way. You know that, don't you? Hey, for you. You. No. My Nathan, I did. I did. I didn't kill you. It was Prince. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. Nathan, it wasn't me. It was Prince. My God. It wasn't me! It wasn't me! Yes, I know you didn't want me to call you. Look, please, Marie, I need to talk to you just once. Excellent. I'll pick you up in ten minutes. I suppose this is where you say you did your best, Danny. Nice, no, not. You're an acting DS. But if you want to go any further, you're going to have to do better than this. Could have been three bodies coming out of there. Go. It'll be an inquiry, you know. What will you say? I'll say you're one of the best officers I've got. But sometimes you cross the line. 
don't know where the line is anymore, Gov. You know, this has happened to me before, but never like this. Nathan trusted me. I need some time, Gov. You've got it. Take a couple of weeks off, get your head together. You did your best, Danny. You're lucky. It's nearly a kebab in the snooker. <laughs> Well, at least I've rescued you from that. Yeah, the snooker maybe, but I'm partial to my kebabs. <laughs> Marie, you know yesterday? Yeah. Well, I think I said something that I regret. I wonder, could I turn the clock back? I've been thinking. One of your better qualities. About what you said earlier. My alcoholism is my problem, not yours. I'd never thought of it that way. I've needed someone like you to stop me. Hiding behind it. Balls, I see. You've done it again. Yeah, well, maybe we just make a good team. Exactly. I mean, that's it, isn't it? It's as simple as that. Mm -hmm. Look, I realise I. I I've been seeing things all wrong. I have been so negative. No, no, you haven't. Just cautious. Another one of your qualities. Well, do you mind if I throw that to the wind? No. Suicide there all the time. 